Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the track mat effect to composite multiple layers of video. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. In this next one, I want to show you how to do a track mat, which is a really cool technique. And I'd like to do it with this shot right here. I don't know if you guys have used this one in your timeline, but I, I have it and I think it would look really cool behind that one. So, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna just get rid of this shot and I'm gonna slow motion this. Remember, you can just grab the rate stretch tool and zoink it out there. That'll look cool. And this is um, not full screen, so I'm gonna right click, set to frame size, there we go. All right, so the idea behind this is we're, we're gonna use what we call a track mat. So we're gonna put something in track two here and use that to turn on and off the opacity of this layer here. So let's go to our project panel. And in the project panel, remember we had the graphics folder and we imported some Photoshop layers. So let's go to DF logo and you should have this dirt fish it's just the, the logo for the company and then this metal background. So we're gonna add the dirt fish. So we're gonna just click it, drag it up here onto track two, make it the same size as this clip. Now you notice that the car, well, first of all, let's, let's scale this dirt fish. And remember you can double click here and scale it, or you can open up the effect controls and scale it right there. All right, so that's nice and big, as big as I can get it. As long as it stays inside of the action safe, I'm, I'm okay there. Alrighty, and then see how the car kind of drifts down? I think it, it would look cool if the car stayed up a little bit higher. I'm just gonna bring my logo down a little. There we go. So it comes in, comes across the letters, and then goes out. All right, so what is a track map? So we uh, are gonna actually apply the track mat to the one on the bottom. So select the clip on track one, come over to effects and type in the word track. There's your track mat and we're gonna just uh, drag and drop it right here on your clip. Nothing exciting happens yet until you come in here to your effect controls and see there's track mat and right here is what what layer do you want to mat? Do you want four or five overlay? We had, remember we had renamed video track two to overlay. If I scrub that up, you can actually see overlay right there. So I'm gonna change it to overlay and voila. Isn't that cool? And the car comes ripping through those letters. That is neat. All right, you know what would be cool is to put that metal stamped metal below this. So how about if we select these two and we mask, um, nest them. So we'll just kind of squish them together. That's our track mat example. And then we'll throw that up onto track two. And let's go grab the metal stamp. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller, shove it back down in here, I'm gonna scale it. Now this is when you actually need to use the effect controls because if I double click, then I'm gonna be working with this. And um, sometimes you just need to use effect controls. That looks cool. Now, hmm, you know what would look neat is if we did something to the dirt fish, like added a drop shadow. So let's try that. Let's go to effects. Let's type in drop. There's a drop shadow. So I'll drag and drop that on there. Let's play around with softness, the distance. You can see the drop shadow starting to come in here, the opacity, make it a little bit darker. Now it's a little bit easier to see. Another thing you could do is play around with the background here, the, the metal background. I think if I went into the color panel and played around with the basic correction on this, like crank up the contrast and drop the exposure, kind of make it a little bit darker, increase the blacks. Might look cool. So play around with it. If you don't like it, you don't have to have it. Another thing you could do is just throw like a solid color underneath it. Let me show you how to do that here in simple edit. If we go back to our project panel, I'm gonna just grab, if you go to the new, you can get a solid black video or just a color mat. So I am going to hit okay. And then it gives me a color. I'm just gonna choose white. I'll call it white and let's throw that in there. Now, if you throw it in there full length, 
it's gonna cut into one of the other clips so I always throw it up there oh that looks nice now that's looking cool I like that okay so you gosh you did a lot here you you did a mat a track mat we nested it we threw it up on top we added a drop shadow to it we tried the metal stamp down here we tried the white whatever you think looks coolest it's up to you hi everyone thanks for watching Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.